What's up everybody? This is Noah and welcome to Genshin. I don't do usually Genshin videos, but one of my friends wanted me to record the new event in the game and upload. So that's what I'm doing. And I think I actually will keep doing some Genshin videos in the future as well. So the event is take a stroll, uh, and I wasn't able to read it fully. Okay. Yeah. Snappity snap, printy printy printy, stackity stack stack stack. Whoa, those two are kind of big deals. Another reason. Uh, why hey, I'm you two. Recording this. Can I take your picture? Because my friend's friend had some uh, kind of glitch or something, uh, and does wasn't, she mean us? And why wasn't did she able want to. Pay attention to all the stuff or read all the stuff that I understood because something happened and everything got skipped. She probably just wants to keep safe, but if you lose this, oh, this one. <laughs> Guess we better get used to the celebrity treatment, huh? Can't blame the fans for wanting a photo of their heroes. Fine, man, I'll do all the work. You don't do anything. But if this is for anything besides your own personal use, then we're legally allowed to charge you. Wait, what would they call it here? An appearance fee? Photo shoot fee? Absolutely! It's just an honor to be able to photograph the Ace Adventurer duo. How does one and a half million more a sound? Uh, sure, that sounds fine! Hold up, how much did you say again? One and a half million? Did Paimon hear that right? Can I have one That's and a half a million Paimon gems instead? That would be much better. Are we also, really maybe two birds dying. Oh god, I need light. I need light. I need light. Uh, should be better. Yeah. <laughs> Snap away, take as many photos as you like. <laughs> you guys are overreacting. This measly one and a half mil is just the start. If you're interested in working with me as a photographer, you could potentially be taking home anywhere up to nine figures. Snap some snaps and stack those stacks. Nine figures? That's... Uh, wait, uh, every thousand is three figures, plus one for the one, so one million, that's seven, plus two is ten million, a hundred million. A hundred million?! I have doubts about your sincerity. Yeah, this all sounds too crazy even for Paimon to fall for it. What kind of racket are you running here? You planning on flashing a couple of famous faces to con innocent people?! Con innocent people?! <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. You got it back to front. My goal here is to rid Tavat of everyone out there who's trying to con innocent people. Help me out, and there'll be a big bonus in it for you. Whoa, back up a little. Seems you skipped a couple of steps. How did you get from photography to crime fighting? Well, it all has to do with an important problem in law enforcement that often gets overlooked. Target recognition. Common Sense says that if Gardamex want to fight crime, the first thing they need to do is identify who's a criminal and who isn't, right? But what happens when a Gardamex mistakes an honest citizen for a criminal, or sees someone brandishing a weapon in public but fails to flag them as a potential threat? Then you've got a huge problem. Think of the poor fisherman whose fishing rod gets mistaken for a spear, or the crafty crook who carries around a metal pipe to club his victims with, but dismissed as a regular plumber. Okay, fair enough. You're kind of making sense now. Great. Okay, so let's say I disguise myself as a cat, or a dog, or a finch, or a pigeon, or maybe even a blubber beast, because why the heck not? Uh, so, I'm walking around the city streets like an escaped amusement park employee, and a Gardamex sees me. How do you think it would respond? Oh yeah, let's see. Sorry, how did we get to amusement park? It's <laughs> because the cheap that costume. Oh, that's cheating! A Gardamex not gonna do anything to some cute little critter! Also, what kind of blubber beast would even want to come to the city anyway? Bingo! Right answer. Gardamex are incapable of registering cats, dogs, finches, pigeons, and, of course, blubber beasts as potential targets. Their image recognition system actually ignores them completely. It is actually fairly logical if you think about it. Removing all the near-zero risk entities from the target database boosts performance in most situations. But here's a quote from a recent report in the Steambird. 
Several keen-eyed thieves who noticed a flaw in the Gardamex detection systems disguised themselves as blubber beasts during the commission of their crimes. Completely blind to the would-be blubber beasts, the Gardamex made no attempt to intervene in the thefts committed by the gang. Wait, so this actually happened? And the Gardamex really didn't catch them? Okay, that's pretty gutsy, but also kind of horrifying. What if they get bored of petty theft and move on to something even worse? They could get away with anything. Exactly! And that's why we have to fight these criminals in the domain of technology. It's turned into an oh, ongoing tug of war between their disguises <laughs> and our image recognition capabilities. And I, Lapine Pauline, specialist in graph adversarial technology, am determined to do my part towards a crime-free future for Fontaine. Currently, I'm in the process of collecting sample images. Once I have a large enough pool, I'll use that to develop a simple but powerful and highly accurate image recognition algorithm that runs okay, on a small graphical on processing talk. module. Oh my god, let's Any get on with it. Mecha installed with this module will instantly be able to recognize people wearing disguises and accurately assess the criminal threat they pose. And, if all goes to plan, the Palais Mermonia will jump at the chance to have these installed on every Gardamek in the city. It's the business opportunity of a lifetime. Uh, whatever. And this all starts with you doing the street photography. I think you might have some trouble getting enough samples. Paimon's getting deja vu. Let me guess. You're a homebody researcher who prefers to stick to the city, limiting your potential sample size. And the reason you want to work with us is because we can go out into the wild and help you get all the other photos you need, right? Wow! <laughs> right again! Down to the last detail. It sounds like the Ace Adventurer duo has seen it all before. What do you say? Join my project, become a graph adversarial technology specialist, and together we can expose every costume defender in Fontaine. Crucially, with your help, we can build a solid graph adversarial tech pipeline and Excuse take Fontaine's technology and law enforcement capabilities the to the next level. Everybody wins! Hmm. This does sound like it's for a good cause. Forget the moral. We can't stand by and do nothing. There are criminals out there giving Blubber Beast a bad name. I need to reflect for a second there because I want to put more brighter lights. Okay, uh, camera, let me adjust you a little bit. Okay. I think a bonus here we go. Great! And just like that, welcome to the team! Okay, take this. It's an image recognition sample collector. It contains recording and analysis equipment that I designed myself, and comes complete with a user guide. I've already looked through lots of images from all over to determine the key features of the samples I'd like to collect. All you need to do is work your way through the guide, get the pictures, and bring them back to me. Simple. Let's get this show on the road, everyone. We must win the tug of war against evildoers and score some big ticket orders from the Palais Mermonia. Okay. During the event, use the image sampling camera to take pictures of targets that Lapin Pauling points out to randomly obtain a special sample. You can take a little of 10 shots per day, and these will be reset the next day. You can exchange samples with your friends during this event. Sadly, I'm in Europe server, which I regret, and my friends are in American. So I'm alone! Yeah, this is really sad. Uh, let's see. Oh god, okay, what am I doing? New goal is 5 hours, 44 minutes. Films remaining 10 points with wing-like structure. Okay, so what I figured out, you have to... God, I'm so lost. You have to go... Oh yeah, I have to take these away. I use these to capture the scarabs for Sino. They go to go and get the forest, or you pronounce it. Genu genu forest. And somewhere here. There, these things. You have to take a picture of these things. But I'm still confused, like they could have explained it better. Oh, 
Oh, it just takes picture on its own. What the hell? Am I done? I guess so. I never seen these creatures before. Oh wait, I did, bro. I'm stupid. Okay. Um. No. Let's see. So our next location is in Chincha Village. Gonna use this portal. And somewhere here. So we have to search. Um, it's somewhere here, but where exactly? I don't know yet. Hmm. So peaceful in here. Oh, you know what I realize right now? Those guys. Slimes. I wounds. Hi. Don't attack me. I'm taking a picture of you. Oh god. <laughs> I think there was a mistake with him, so I think I'm good. <laughs> I had to go. Hi. So, yeah, two I'm not here to cause you any harm. I just want to make you famous and take a selfie out of you. Or a, yeah. Okay. Okay, our next location is going to be next to Bright Crown Canyon. I remember seeing some slimes over there. Um, one thing. Now I'm starting to kind of understand um, how this works. So you need something with the wings, and the slimes have wings. Here they are. Damn, that's a lot of them. One. Can I get you? Two. Three. Four. Five. And I'm out of shots. I'm guessing I have to go back now. Let's see what happens. Wish I could teleport in here. <laughs> well, I noticed that they actually became really generous with the portals. <laughs> in the old days, I think they were bad. Now they are better with the events and quests when you had to teleport to somewhere. You're back, so did you find anything? Give her the samples. Excellent. Show me what you've got. Looks like graph advers adversarial something something. Confirm. Yo, Primos. Nice. And two more. This is a good way to get Primos. Holy moly. I'm collecting Primus right now for shower rerun. Because I'm Shao main. Well, I'm still building him kinda. But I'm missing only check constellations. I also wanna build Scarra. Scarra Marsh. There it is. Wait. Since when I have his constellation? Damn, I actually forgot that I have his const one of his first constellations. Well that's a surprise for me. <laughs> Uh, there's so many characters that I already forgot some things. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I want to build him also. Still have to upgrade Nahida. Yeah. This is cool. Yeah, I still need to level up you, my boy. Five of these and six. There's my main traveler. So my main characters are mostly are Xiao, Kokumi, Zhongli, and the third one is random, but mostly Kuching or Kazuha. In the old days I used to play with Beidou, <laughs> good old, old days. But yeah, uh, I guess uh, that's it for now. 
I don't know if I'm not gonna continue this event probably, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, right now I just have to wait for the next day before I can do more pictures. So, yes. Let me know if you would like me to stream the game. We could hang out in the chat, talk together while I stream and go around the world. Maybe you can join my game if you want and we can screw around and play together. Mm -hmm. It'll be fun. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!